I am in the Visual Studio Code Editor. Let's start by writing some JavaScript code. I'm declaring a variable and assigning it my name to start with. And then I'm going to create a function and name it print my name. And we don't need a parameter for now to start with. Inside this function, I'm going to log the value of my name variable and also declare a my name variable inside it and assign it a value, let's say, with Vishnu. That's my colleague's name. And now we invoke this function. Take a look at the code and perhaps pause the video to understand what is it going to print on the line four. Did you guess Nilanjan or perhaps Vishnu? Let's run this code. So on a side tape, I'm using a cool extension called Code Runner. There it is. And it's a cool way to execute your code directly from the IDE without having to launch any other terminal window or browser. Back to the code. So here I'm going to run this code. And guess what? We have undefined printed from line four. Is this what you expected? Is this what you thought this line four would output? If not, then let's understand what's actually happening in this few lines of JavaScript code. And by the way, this undefined is printed on line number four because of the feature hoisting in JavaScript. Let's understand now a little bit deeper into what's going on while we execute this code. It's important to understand the concept of execution context while understanding JavaScript hoisting. Execution context is actually the environment in which the JavaScript code runs. Apart from creating the global execution context, JavaScript engine also creates dedicated separate in execution context for each function. Let's look at our code. In this code, apart from the global execution context, on line number nine, when the print my function, print my name function is invoked, that function gets its own dedicated individual execution context. Each execution context has two phases in them. One is the creation or compilation phase and the other one is the execution phase. This is a key concept to understand JavaScript hoisting, to understand how this execution context performs in each one of these phases. Let's understand by looking at our code here. So we saw this code. The moment JavaScript engine starts looking into this code, a global execution context is created. In this creation phase of this execution context, the variables and the functions get their own memory allocated. The variables, apart from getting their memory allocated, also gets undefined as a value assigned to them. As we go on to look into the function, the function also gets its memory allocated. Nothing happens on the line number nine because it's the creation phase of the global execution context. Next comes the execution phase. In this execution phase, the variables gets its actual value assigned. So in this case, the my name variable, when it was in the creation phase had undefined value, 
and in the execution phase it gets the value nilanjan assigned to it on line number three it's a function statement so nothing gets executed unless we face line number nine and here this function is invoked the moment this function is invoked the dedicated execution context for this particular function is created and this execution context moves into the creation phase as we learned in the creation phase the execution context looks for the variables inside it and assigns an undefined value for it so as soon as the javascript engine finds out on line number six there is a my name variable within this function it assigns its memory and gets undefined value allocated to it in the execution phase of this context on line number four javascript engine finds out that i need to print out my name now do i have a my name variable inside my scope the scope of the print my name function and it says in the memory yes i do have but the assigned value of it is undefined courtesy to the creation phase of this execution context hence on line number four we could see the console.log function printing out undefined as a value for my name after executing line number four when it moves to line number six the my name value gets assigned to vishnu now you know why on line number four we had undefined printed suppose for an example if we didn't have the line number six at all inside this function so in that case line number four the my name variable when the scope chain looks for finding out whether do i have a my name inside the print my name function it wouldn't have found it so it would have looked up the scope chain go to the global execution context and it would have found my name variable sitting there with a value already assigned as nilanjan because remember global execution context has already gone through that execution phase and it has found on the very first line its value for my name i hope now this is quite clear for all of you why on line number four we had undefined as a value printed for my name variable so with this understanding how the execution context plays a crucial role in javascript hoisting let's look at some of the additional things that we can do here let's jump into the code we are back to our code and as you can see here we have the same code as we have been seeing here for a while now as we have learned print my name function at the time of creation of the global execution context also gets its own memory so ideally i should be able to call this function even before the function declaration is lexically present so let's run this code and yes it works we have the same undefined as we had before having this function being called at the end now let's see what happens when we change this var the var keyword for my name inside this print my name into the let keyword the let keyword introduced in ECMAScript 6 has a little bit of different behavior when it comes to javascript hoisting let's see what happens now if i run this code there you go it says i really cannot access my name before initialization and this my name 
is where it is pointing out look at here javascript line number four so it's very clear for us to look at it here that this my name is no more having an undefined value assigned to it when the moment we use the let keyword from ECMAScript 6. So this was all about under the hood of JavaScript hoisting. If you found this video informative, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more informative content. Till then, all the best for your next JavaScript interview.